What is the claim of exemption process? Anytime a consumer has their money taken, their wages or bank levies on their account pursuant to a judgment, that consumer has a right to see a judge and ask that that amount be modified. That process is the claim of exemption. It is the process um, where you tell the court that either the money is exempt or that you have a su sufficient financial hardship such that you should get all or some portion of it back. So the way that process works that within, uh, once your money is seized, either your wages or your bank account, you must file this form, it's called the claim of exemption form, and you must give it to the sheriff, not to the court. You give it to the sheriff. You have a limited number of days in which to do that. Um, if you do that timely, then the sheriff is going to give that claim of exemption to the counsel, to the lawyer for the creditor. That lawyer, that creditor then has 15 days typically to either object to your claim of exemption or accept it. Trust me, they very rarely accept your claim of exemption. If they do object to it, which they're going to, they then file a motion in the courthouse for a hearing date. They pay a filing fee for that. You get notice of that and you go to the courthouse and have a hearing. It's the judge, it's you. Other counsel will be there or not. Sometimes they're not. They'll leave it up to the judge as to what um, the judge will allow in terms of the garnishment or the levy. The sheriff, meanwhile, is just holding the funds until the judge tells the sheriff what to do with it, either to give it back to you, give it to the creditor, give some to both, whatever the case may be. So that's the claim of exemption process. Um, it's very important that when you do complete that form that you be very careful what you put on there. For example, if you are claiming a financial hardship, you're going to need to fill out a financial statement form. That's what the court's going to look at. That's what the judge is going to make his or her decision based upon. So you have to put on what your income is, your spouse's income, if any, all of your assets, all of your expenses, um, everything. So your financial life will be on this form. Remember, that data is given to your creditors. So although you may be successful in reducing or eliminating this attachment of your wages or bank account, You've also given the creditor all the information about your finances from which they can then, you know, continue to enforce. The claim of exemption does not change the amount that you owe. It just may change the amount that they're going to take at that particular time. It does not change the judgment whatsoever. You still owe the full amount, even if the court agrees to reduce the amount being levied or the amount being garnished.